Hello children, I am Dr. Vijay Kumar, State Academic Coordinator, UP East. In this video, we are going to learn about the focal theme and sub-themes for the year 2023. I have divided the talk into three parts. Part 1, what is National Children's Science Congress? Part 2nd, what is the focal theme and sub-themes for the year 2023? Part 3rd, explanation of focal theme and sub-themes with examples. This video will provide you different ideas of work within the limits of the focal theme and sub-theme. So let's start with part 1. What is National Children's Science Congress? National Children's Science Congress is a flagship program of National Council for Science and Technology Communication, NCSTC, Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. This program was launched nationwide in 1993 for children of 10 to 17 years age, which includes both regular school goers, dropouts, children of slum or street dwellers. The program also provides platform for especially able children, Divyangjan. It acts as a platform for the children to be rational and apply scientific method to understand, research and seek solutions for solving local problems in their neighborhood. National Children's Science Congress was launched in 1993 but after a long period of time it is sad to say that most of you are not even understand the basic concept of National Children's Science Congress. Most of you says it is a competition. Most of you says it is a model making competition and most of you are doing so. Some says it is an essay writing competition or debate competition but the answer is no. It is not a model making competition. It is not an essay writing or debate competition. It is not at all any competition. National Children's Science Congress is a program which provide a platform to the children to learn the methodology of research. You have to do local area research. If you want to participate in National Children's Science Congress, you have to select a local area problem and try to find out the solution by using research methodology. Your local area problem should be within the limit of focal theme and sub-theme. So now I think you have understand the basic concept of National Children's Science Congress. Let's start part second. What is the focal theme and sub-theme for the year 2023? National Children's Science Congress is a research-based program held every year on a specific focal theme which is continued consecutively for two years. So before selection of local area problem and before start of work, you have to go through the guidebook to understand the focal theme and sub-themes of this year. The focal theme of this year, that is 2023, has been decided as understanding ecosystem for health and well-being. Keeping major focuses in views, the focal theme has been divided into following sub-themes. Number one, know your ecosystem. Number two, fostering health nutrition and well-being sub theme number three social and cultural practices for ecosystem and health sub theme number four ecosystem based approaches for self-reliance 
सब थीम नंबर फाइव टेक्नोलॉजिकल इनोवेशन फॉर इको सिस्टम एंड हेल्थ नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द फोकल थीम दैट इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग इको सिस्टम फॉर हेल्थ एंड वेल बींग इट इज अ ब्रॉड एरिया ऑफ रिसर्च इट इंक्लूड्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ इको सिस्टम एंड देन इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन हेल्थ एंड वेल बींग एज यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट इको सिस्टम्स आर द प्लानट्स लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम्स फॉर द ह्यूमन स्पीशीज एंड ऑल अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइफ फॉर ह्यूमन सर्वाइवल फूड वाटर क्लीन एयर शेल्टर एंड रेगुलेटेड क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन आर फंडामेंटल नीड्स स्ट्रेस ऑन फ्रेश वाटर रिसोर्स फूड प्रोड्यूसिंग सिस्टम्स एंड क्लाइमेट रेगुलेशन कुड कॉज मेजर एडवर्स हेल्थ इम्पैक्ट्स चिल्ड्रेन यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द चेंज इन एनवायरमेंट affect the human health and well-being for example climate change creates stress on agricultural production the integrity of coral reefs and coastal fisheries this can leads to malnutrition stunted childhood growth increases susceptibility to infectious disease and other ailment if these type of problems prevailing in your area prepare list of these problems and sort out the problems related to the focal theme of this year due to climate change the production of agriculture is decreasing if you have noticed this type of problem in your area worked on the problem and try to suggest the possible solutions due to climate change nutrient value of crop is decreasing this may affect the health of children and the population of the area if this type of problem persist in your area try to find out the solution of the problem due to human activity the area of wetlands are decreasing day by day we have lost most of ponds wells and rivers map the problem and work out for the solution this slide shows how the existence of human beings depend on the ecosystem we are obtaining food fresh water biological products timber fiber and fuel all from ecosystem ecosystem controls the climate of the area existence of infectious disease nutrients in crops and detoxification of the environment now i am going to explain about the ecosystem services and health the different ecosystem services are mentioned in the slide i will explain one by one and all services of the ecosystem as shown in the slide ecosystem provide basic needs of life the causal link between environmental change and human health are complex but often they are indirect displayed in space and time and dependent on a number of modifying forces for example alternation in the pattern of infectious disease due to deforestation or climatic change you can observe such changes in the in the patterns of infectious disease in your locality climate change may create stresses on agricultural production coastal fisheries this can lead to malnutrition and susceptibility to infectious disease and other ailments you can observe and design research if any such changes 
exist in your locality and how it affects the human health now i am going to explain different ecosystems services and how it is related to human health number 1 fresh water fresh water is a essential uh, need for good human health used for growing food drinking personal hygiene washing cooking and recycling of waste for example wetlands play a crucial role in the filtering of fresh water including the removal of various chemicals and potentially toxic elements like heavy metals cadmium and lead you can trace the area of wetland you can work on the problems arises due to reduction in wetlands you can work on the availability of water per capita and how the water scarcity affect the human health the second health service is the food world's aggregate food production is sufficient to meet the need of all the health of human directly dependent on the productivity of the ecosystem providing sources of basic nutrition changes in food producing ecosystems are likely to play an increasingly important role in nutritional disparities you can prepare report on local crops their nutrients and they are related to human health you may also work on the food habits of pupils from different areas in your locality and how the nutrients in their diet affect their health the third ecosystem service is timber fiber and fuel according to world health organization who over half of world's population rely upon solid fuel the combustion of solid fuel causes significant mortality and morbidity from respiratory diseases the adequate and sustainable energy supplies is the fundamental not only to economic development but also to health and well-being you can try to find out how pollution whether outdoor or indoor affect health and well-being timber exploitation causes species loss and ecosystem degradation the destruction and fragmentation of habitats accompanied by new patterns of human microbes contacts has introduced new infectious diseases into human population you can also try to trace the spread of human microbes and their pattern in your locality for example nepa virus in malaysia next ecosystem service is the biological product world's population is directly or indirectly dependent on ecosystem for different products for example medicinal plants food etc you can map the availability of medicinal plants in your area fifth ecosystem service is the nutrient waste management processing and detoxification nutrient waste management processing and detoxification all are controlled by nature ecosystem and play crucial role in recycling and redistribution of nutrients example wetlands are natural filters wetlands remove chemicals toxic elements heavy metals like cadmium lead etc you can identify plants of your locality those have ability to remove impurities from water excessive use of the insecticides kill microbes from the soil 
this may lead to reduction in nutrient level of the soil insecticides kill beneficial insects along with pest the population and diversity of the pollinators are decreasing day by day this may lead to reduction in crop production if you observe this type of problem in your area work out the problem and try to suggest the probable solution of the problem next ecosystem service is the regulation of infectious disease vector pathogens parasites their interaction control spread all is dependent on ecosystem's health change in environmental condition alters natural influences on infectious agent availability and activity you can map the disease and their spread in your locality next ecosystem services is cultural spiritual and recreational services during vacation we like to visit healthy ecosystems healthy ecosystems create creates sites of tourism recreation aesthetic appreciation inspiration and education healthy ecosystem is the base of healthy society and culture you may work on the ecosystem of your area and how it become the site of a spiritual and recreational uh, site next uh, ecosystem service is climate regulation forests are the regulators of the climate deforestation is the major region of climate change deforestation result in problems like heat waves availability of food water energy supplies so try to find out these type of problem if exist in your area and try to find out the solution of the problem